Physics Mechanics Half of mechanics is generally a review from grade 12 physics. Some of the topics covered in this course were energy, kinematics, vectors, and torque. Generally, the course material was pretty easy, but was May in the interesting department. But the two midterms and final exam were very reasonable. The only problem is that I was stuck in a cineplex theater at 8 a.m. for these lectures. Anyways, I have to give it the A tier. Final grade, A. Linear Algebra. This was certainly the class of all time. The first half was dookie consisting of vector algebra, determinants and systems of equations made me want to inverse myself. The second half was actually pretty good with transformations, basis, eigenvectors, and complex numbers. But there was a problem, proofs. I am in engineering. I am not a dirty math student, so I could not care less about proofs. Doing REF is a pain in the ass because we don't get calculators for any math course, so a small addition mistake costs you half the marks on a question. This midterm was also the first taste of engineering midterms, as it had an average of 43%. Higher than expected, to be honest. Also, the course coordinator, let's call him Joe, made everyone purchase his linear algebra textbook he created, which was filled with mistakes and typos and cost $150. Luckily, I am not a chump, so I found the textbook online for free. The first half of linear algebra was a D tier with the second half being A tier, so I will meet in the middle and give it the B tier. Final grade, A. Calculus 1. Calculus 1 stinks. This class is all about doing things the long way. Differentiation, ha, huh, that's easy, just follow the formulas but integration in Calc 1 is insufferable. First, we must learn to approximate the area before we can find the actual area. Riemann sums. This process is slow and painful. Also, somehow they quizzed us on Riemann sums in our tutorial before they taught it in lecture, so I got an astounding one out of 10 on the quiz. Then comes the Riemann integral, which is an integral with a million extra steps, and you are sure to mess up one small step and get the wrong sum. Also, when you want to do limits to infinity, they force you to show every step of the hospital's rule. The only upside to this class is the prof was funny and we did cahoots in lectures. D tier. Final grade, B+. General Chemistry. This class is the GOAT. Even though chemistry is not my favorite subject, this class is a GPA booster. Some stuff you learned in this class is thermochemistry, intro to thermodynamics, equilibrium, acids and bases, gases, and electrochemistry. The midterms and exam were easy, and the organic chemistry tutor covers everything in this course. The only problem was, we had to learn about a third of the course ourselves because the lectures were not long enough to cover everything. Despite this, this course deserves the A tier. Final grade, A+. Plus. Intro to Engineering. This course is monkey. There is some useful content about academic probation and how the university doesn't give a crap about much, but you were forced to go to the lectures because of participation marks at the end of each lecture. There were two projects in this course, an engineering disaster paper and a reverse engineering project. Both were a waste of time, and I was stuck with an oil rig explosion rather than what I wanted, which was Challenger. The exam had to be the stupidest thing I have ever seen. It was 150 multiple choice questions, which were like, the 14th stage of the engineering design process consists of, and how many electrical credits does a computer engineer need to have? The stupidest questions were riddle questions, such as chickens, donkeys, and cows entering a pen, and which one entered first. If this course wasn't so easy, then it would get the F tier, but since it was fairly easy, I will put it in the D tier. Final grade, A minus. Geography. Every engineering student has to take liberal courses, so choose wisely. My prof was the goat because he told us which stuff from the lectures was going to be on the test. Looking back, I wish I slept through fewer lectures. Second semester. Engineering design. 
This class has got to be one of the most outdated things, bruh. Nobody does engineering drawings by hand. We were not allowed to use any drawing tools like compasses or rulers, and the profs took off marks if your lines and circles were not liney or circly enough, or the lines looked too straight and the circles were too curved. We also had to use the beloved software Katia, which hasn't been updated since 2007, with Windows 95 AI user interface. When we had our CAD test, the hardest part about creating the product was finding the tool I needed to use. I knew which one I needed, but there is no search option to search for the tool, so I had to hover over each icon until I found the one I needed. Shout out to my project group as we created the best wheelchair-accessible aircraft seat known to humanity, D-Tier. Overall Grade A, Plus. Physics Waves and Fields. The first half of Physics 2 was quite boring. Standing waves, propagating waves, interference, Doppler yap yap. Anyway, it was pretty easy. The second half of Physics 2 was quite interesting and I did enjoy it. The second half was all about gravitational and electric fields, electric potential, electricity, and magnetism. I found some of these concepts a little harder to grasp, but the test questions were simple enough, and if you show up to the lectures, you will pass with a good grade. B tier. Final grade. A. Calculus 2. This was probably my favorite class in first year engineering. This class fed much of the videos I created and gave a lot of jokes for my lobotomy kaizen videos. I did enjoy integrating and differential equations, while series and multivariable functions were all right. It was nice since we didn't have to do much of the fundamentals crap, so we didn't have to show our work for the small stuff like limits. This class is easier and way more enjoyable than Calculus 1, so I will give it the S tier. Final Grade A Programming in C This class is the definition of mid. I already did programming in Python back in high school, so I already knew the concepts like loops, structures, and arrays. So I only had to learn the syntax, which in C is the biggest pain in the ass. The profs enjoy making tests insufferable as they had a million variables pointing to random crap for multiple choice questions and they made us handwrite two programs where we would lose marks for incorrect syntax like forgetting a curly brace. The course itself wasn't too hard because ChatGPT carried me C-tier. Final grade, A. Materials Science. This class started out being pretty interesting, talking about the crystalline structure of materials, the basics of heat treatment, and ways to strengthen materials. Most of the long answer questions were just figure out what's going on, then plug the numbers in the equations, but the multiple choice was close your eyes and circle a letter. Most of the labs were pretty fun and easy. The second half of the class was quite difficult because it was all theory, as the labs only covered material from the first half of the class. We learned polymers, ceramics, composites, and corrosion. To be honest, with this class, you could study as much as you could, and you still wouldn't be able to learn everything in the course. The final exam was one of the most atrocious things I have written because I had to guess at least half of the multiple choice questions. B tier. Final Grade A, plus. Engineering Economics. This course is notorious for being the hardest first-year engineering course at my school. You used to be able to do this course on an Excel spreadsheet and get a good mark, but they recently changed the course so the spreadsheet is useless. The midterms were so difficult that we got the fattest curve, and I ended with 111% on the first midterm. This class took up too much time away from studying the more important classes. Also, this class was hard for no reason, therefore it deserves the F tier. Final Grade A+. This is my tier list for first-year engineering courses. Feel free to not leave a comment saying which parts you disagree with, as I am always 100% correct. Have a good day.